21% Delirium is the gambit pinnacle weapon for Season 6. It's the first rapid frame machine gun introduced in Destiny 2. It features two new perks, Overflow, which causes the weapon to reload beyond its normal capacity when you pick up special or heavy ammo. The main perk, unique to Delirium, is Killing Tally, which causes kills to increase the weapon's damage until it's stowed or reloaded. The Killing Tally perk is basically an amped up version of Rampage. Each stack of it roughly grants about 21% increase in damage in PvE, totaling to about 65% at 3 stacks. Displayed damage numbers are rounded in game, which is why those numbers might sound a little bit funky when you add them up. The perk does have some unfortunate quirks with how it keeps those stacks though. Swapping weapons causes the stacks to go away. Reloading also causes this. Hunter Reload Dodge makes you lose the stacks, but Titan Barricade, Warlock Luna Faction, and Hunter Sealed Ahankara's Grasp do not. The big thing for me, if you pull out your ghost for any reason, you lose stacks. So, interacting with something, that means you lose your stacks. Also, picking up a relic makes you lose them. That is a pretty big thing to be aware of since those two systems are in almost every single activity in the game. Overflow is also a perk that deserves a little bit of an explanation since it is new. Whenever you pick up special or heavy ammo, if you have a weapon with overflow in your loadout, then the weapon with overflow will overfill the magazine from reserves. How much this goes up by is based on the magazine size of the weapon. An example, normally Delirium will only overfill to 204 rounds, but if you have a backup magazine mod, it will overfill to 230. So I highly recommend going for that mod, assuming you can control the recoil, of course. Counterbalance might be a better option if you can't. The other things to keep note of with the overflow perk is that you don't have to have the weapon out to get overfill to work. I just did that in the footage to show you it working. Also, I highly recommend not running a double primary loadout since overflow will not proc on primary ammo pickups on this weapon. If heavy ammo is the only way to proc this, then you won't get much use out of it in my opinion. Alright, let's get this out of the gate. This is not a PvP weapon. It's a bullet hose style machine gun. So you're going to be out of ammo before you know it. It doesn't get to take of the perks on the weapon really, and it also doesn't get to take of some of the absurd things that machine guns are known for, like range and aim assist. It just wants to spray bullets. So if you're using it seriously in PvP, it better be because it's mayhem and you're trying to go maximum meme mode. Now, where this weapon is meant to be used is PvE, and there it does amazingly well despite it being a little bit clunky with certain loadouts. Just as a base weapon, it fills the role of an arc machine gun that isn't Thunderlord, and it has an amazing rampage-like perk. The high base magazine size can be burned through rather quickly, but as long as you activate overflow at least once, you should be good to blast away for a while. The added benefit of reloading instantly when walking over heavy ammo bricks means you can keep the fun up without stopping to reload or fire, really. That's when the weapon's at its most powerful. Heavy ammo scatter on the ground, and enough enemies to warrant just continually firing the gun. My main criticism of the weapon is basically that to fully make use of the perk, you have to build your loadout around it in some unconventional ways. For example, I prefer running scavenger perks because it makes my ammo pickups more valuable, rather than relying on RNG to give me bricks. However, since overflow requires you to actually pick up ammo, you won't be able to proc it if your special is full, which means you will then have to swap weapons, fire off a shot, and then get overflow to work when walking over the ammo brick. Since it usually only takes like two bricks to fill up my special, I ran into this particular nuisance quite a bit. However, I think that only really bothers me because I want to try to use Delirium to its fullest potential. I want to be in magical Christmas land of having three stack of killing tally up while also having a full overflow filled magazine. I am being a little bit dramatic since the damage of the weapon means you won't have to invest a ton of ammo to get back up to max stacks for killing tally. Still, if you have to constantly swap weapons because you're only getting special ammo to drop and you also want overflow to be there, it can be a little bit frustrating. That being said, if you do get even close to that happening, well, Delirium will put out some serious damage for a pretty long time. Add in reload cheats like Titan Barricade or Warlock Luna Faction Rift, and you actually have a weapon that gets really close to the damage output of Thunderlord, but in a legendary package. The 230 round magazine will last an extremely long time by itself, conveniently almost the entire duration of most boss DPS phases. So, if you know what's coming, it should be fairly easy to set that massive damage output up. 
I think it feels foreign to me because this is the first time that we've really had to do something like that in the game. Using kills to set up more damage is one thing, but also bringing in ammo pickups and your overall ammo pool into account just adds another layer to the whole thing. I actually do really like this idea, and I think its execution provides a pretty high power fantasy. I just wish the gun had a little bit less clunky behavior with the killing tally perk falling off. Looking at you, perk that falls off when you go to check the modifiers. So. Is the gun worth the grind? Well, fortunately, you don't have to burn yourself out on some gambit like I did in two weeks. You have an entire season to get it, so take your time, please. I do think that this is a gun that you can kind of live without in the short term, though, but definitely something that you want in your arsenal for long term. Its stick of holding onto damage increase is a powerful one, but it also is a little bit clunky to take advantage of in some activities. When it works though, it certainly feels like it has the power of an exotic weapon. It just requires that little bit of planning and foresight to properly use. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, a positive rating would be appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.